Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that you saw that notebook pass by or whatever. Uh, I was just trying to get my notebook so I could read to you guys what I'm going to be doing in this video. So, this is for a re review for the final Dream Theater Marathon Studio album review that I'm going to be reviewing for uh, Distance Over Time. That I know I re well, I did an album review. Sorry for stuttering for a moment. Um, I did an album review of theirs like the day it came out, uh, in 2019. So, yeah, I'm gonna discuss what I know I've listened to and what I listened to again for this re review and let you know what I thought of this hour long of an album so let's dive into this uh review this re-review so james lebris vocals in this album is really good but there are a few songs on here that i'm not sure if i like as much they're kind of my least favorites like uh room 137 that did all right but there was some moments in the song that I wasn't feeling for. But every other track is very good. Um, S2N is really good. I gave that a 5 out of 5. At Wit's End, very awesome song. Um, Untethered Angel. I thought for the longest time it was called Untethered Angels. But it's called Untethered Angel. Which, that was a really good song to start the record. Viper King, not my personal favorite, but it's fine. Uh, it is the bonus track to close out this album. But uh, Pale Blue Dot is the official track to close the album out. But uh, they add a bonus track with it as well. And it actually does fine with the bonus track. I don't hate the bonus track. I just think it's my personal least favorite. Out of Reach is not my... It was decent. It hasn't grown on me as much as I thought it was going to grow on me. But if I were to... Well, I think for Room 137, I was just scribbling some things. I liked some moments in one Room 137. But I guess I'd give that a 5 and just give Out of Reach like a 4 out of 5. So Out of Reach had some cringy moments in it with how James Labrie was singing the song, in my personal opinion. Paralyzed was really good. I really loved it. Fall Into the Light is one of my favorites. Um, Barstool Warrior is a really good track. And yeah, there's only like 10 songs on this album, but it does pretty good for what it went for. Uh, and yeah, um, I remember reviewing it and giving it like a 9 out of 10 when I reviewed it uh, two years ago, or almost three years ago. Uh, in February, it'll be three years uh, of next year. So yeah. But, pretty much, um, out of reach, I just wasn't feeling for the vocals from James Labrie and how the melody was playing out so sounded nice, but nothing to my liking, uh, in my personal opinion. But still, um, production-wise, mixing and execution, this album did pretty good. It was a pretty good listen. for. The shortest runtime. Well, it's not the shortest album in their discography. The shorter albums are like the first and second album, I believe. Um, after that, uh, sorry for my yawning. I just I'm about ready to go to bed in a moment. Uh, I just wanted to return to you for this review. Get knock it out of the way, cause, cause I might be busy in the morning. 
so I won't be able to do reviews in the morning, I don't think so. I'll try, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, this album did pretty good, and I enjoyed this album, and I see myself returning to this album quite a lot. So, overall, I think Dream Theater's Distance Over Time, the re-review I did for you guys, I think coming back to it, I might have a different opinion about when I rated it two years ago, because I thought it was the best thing, but A View from the Top of the World is one of my favorite albums from them, in my opinion. I think it's better than Distance Over Time, uh, but Distance Over Time was a pretty good uh, release from them. So, first score... I'm going to give Dream Theater's Distance Over Time, the re-review that I did for you guys. I'm going to give this album an 8.5 out of 10. This was a pretty good listen. Highly recommend you check it out. It is the final Marathon Studio album review I'm doing for their discography, which I did like 14 albums in their discography, and I did do the new one like almost two weeks ago. Uh the album review for theirs yeah but i think you'll enjoy it um definitely go check out my a view from the top of the world album review on my channel i think you'll like it i worked really hard to make it as good as possible but still um james labrie's vocals in this album was pretty good and i enjoyed some of the instrumentation on this album and other things like that, how the melodies are playing out, so, pretty good job on this Dream Theater, I really love this album, so, comment below, let me know what you guys thought, sorry about the ding, it's my phone or whatever, um, going off or something like that, um, comment below, let me know what you guys thought of the Dream Theater distance over time, If you've heard this album, and if you like this re-review, album review, or re-review for this album, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you tomorrow. I think it's only going to be for the Venom Let There Be Carnage movie review. And I'm going to try to get caught up with all the new movie reviews. Like the new Sopranos movie I'm going to check out. Not the Sopranos movie. It's based off that series. I'll have to look up the title of the name for the movie again. But you might know what I'm talking about. It's based off that series. That TV show. Uh, Which I never really watched the Sopranos. But I heard it's pretty violent. Uh, But yeah. Um... I did enjoy this Dream Theater album, Distance Over Time, and yes, I will be doing In Flames uh, Marathon Discography album reviews, that will be in January. Um, I was going to delay it to May of 2022, if I have to delay it to May of 2022, I will, because I got other reviews for Marathon Studio album reviews set for the rest of the year. And uh, some new albums plus end of the year videos. So I'm going to be really fucking busy for the end of the year. <laughs> uh, but I hope you enjoyed this re-review for Distance Over Time by Dream Theater album. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Definitely stay safe. Take care, have a great rest of your Tuesday early morning or whatever, and as always, I'll see you in my next video.